Alright folks, so uh, if you have a Triumph uh, motorcycle uh, from around year 2000, for example I have a Triumph Sprint RS here from 2001, uh, it's highly likely when your bike is not starting, uh, it's probably something wrong with your electric systems and uh, after looking for the causes I have found that um, this wiring harness terminal connector it's quite easily corroded for some reason um, the rest of the terminal are all coated with um, dielect I think it's called dielectric grease and uh, this terminal is not so um, most of my terminal contacts are corroded from both sides and I have to remove a lot of them and as you can see the one I removed it's totally screwed up and heavily corroded and I went to uh, triumphrat.net it's a forum um, that's uh, for a lot of uh, triumph owners to um, socialize and find problems and fix problems and share their experiences and I found out from a very um, helpful folk on the forum that this terminal is easily replaced so it's right over here it's a RFW type terminal um, and it looks like this this is the uh, male side it's basically a straight pin and the female side the receiver side it's uh, it's like kind of a square connector and to install this kind of terminals to replace whatever's on the wiring harness connector you need a crimping tool that's specifically for this type of connectors and it's it's shaped like this i post the link to where i got this crimping tool and all the connectors um, and also on each end of the connector there is a seal like a silicone rubber seal type of thing that you are supposed to attach to the terminals and I think you can see here from um, the corroded one I have a seal over here it's a purple color but I don't think they make the purple color anymore and the, the green one is probably the standard replacement um, I've already installed a terminal over here the orange line which I think was the positive um, connector and uh, it's very easy to install and over here I'm supposed to be replacing two of those and uh, I'm not sure if I can do it while I'm replacing it or switch to my uh, action cam and see if I'm able to show you guys how to replace the terminal but um, if your electric system is not working if your um, if your um, onboard diagnostic thing is not working as well it's likely that one well, of the terminal here is corroded and you need to find out which one is corroded and replace it so um, let me get started and switch to my action camera and uh, I'll show you guys how to replace this terminal so I'll be right back all right so I just switched to my uh, helmet camera the action camera so I'm gonna go ahead and I guess replace this one just to show you guys how to replace the terminals. First, we have to um, get all the nasty pieces out, which just use a regular plier and just make some pressure on it, and it will fall apart by itself because it's really heavily corroded. And we might have to re-splice. Uh, the wires depending on how the condition is for this for this terminal and this is a small area to work on very cramped and I wasn't able to take the wirings out so we we'll just have to do it here just using brutal force and I'm, I'm not saving this uh, silicon ring because I have a new replacement <coughs> just try to get it off ok 
Okay. Finally, it's off. The copper wire looks to be in pretty good shape. I'm just gonna splice it a little longer, just in case. Like slightly longer. Okay. And this is the um, female side, the receiver end. So I'm gonna get one of my receiver terminals out. <coughs> I got a whole bunch more, way more than I need, just so I could I could practice on. And uh, but I actually found it's it's fairly easy to uh, do the replacement and crimping um, the terminals. And uh, this is my first time doing it, so for folks that have a lot of uh, experience crimping electric parts, wires, and cables. Sorry, I'm not uh, if I'm not doing it properly, but this is a quick fix for my bike. Hopefully, it, it would work. Uh, okay, so this is a female end, and this is one of the plugs, silicone plugs. And I'm gonna come back here, put the plugs on. And then line up the female terminal. Nicely here. Excuse me. So we're we're just gonna crimp it first, and then crimp uh, the plug onto the terminal. Um, what I want to say. Uh, also, you have to come back to the terminal and notice the direction of how this will go. For example, if you can see the, um, I guess. The tongue part is kind of on the top, so just make sure the direction is correct so it's easier for you to insert the plugs in once it's crimped and ready to go. Okay, so and here we go. Find my crimp, crimper. <coughs> And I'm using size C first, um, but I'll probably recrimp it using the D just to reinforce the crimp. And it's kind of tricky. I'm not sure if you guys can see. And also, when you're crimping, um, if you can see, there's a little Thing that's pointing out that's that's where your open end is gonna go so it's gonna go like this and then the thing wraps around and crimps nicely so, um, okay so I'm gonna be using C yes and let's go ahead and crimp Do one more using the smaller crimp. And sometimes it rotates around, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, have to redo. So as you can see, the C is not, um, it's not smaller enough to close it. So I'm going to be having to be using probably D. Let's see. Here we go. Size D. Do it again. And this time it's uh, looks to be securely crimped. And then we come back and crimp the 
silicone and there is a little tongue for you to grab and for this one I'm just gonna be using the biggest one probably size B to crimp it of course notice the direction of the crimp and uh, I'm just gonna do like that all right and it's crimped and nicely and ready to go like that uh, let me test the uh, probably shouldn't need any test but yeah now I need to find a way to put that thing back into the terminal which is like the middle one um, which is probably kind of hard to reach so uh, let me play around and see if I can put it back in but the basic crimping procedure is just like that okay so there's still some leftover stuff in here might have to push it out somehow looks like it's out yep it's a little piece of leftover tab like here quite annoying oh it's out now this terminal is clean and nice and ready to go we're just try our best to plug it back in uh, find a good entry point and notice the direction of the tongue and just try the best and I know it's right next to the black wire so I'm going to go ahead and insert it into the cavity and hopefully it would go in all the way if not we'll have to reseat it Check. looks like it's installed this one and it's seated nicely just gonna do a quick test with well my pins and save inserts nicely and which it does nope not it just popped out so I have to reseal it properly okay let's see what's the best way to uh, reach under push it in it's kind of very tricky because it's so inside and it just happens to be the wire that broke okay It looks to be seated. Test again. Don't really want it to pop out, but if it does, we'll have to find other ways. It's kind of tight. Yeah, nope. It's not working. So I need to find a way to uh, have it locked onto the tab, but. So far, I haven't found a way because the space is so limited. But I think eventually I'll figure it out. Um, I just won't bore you guys with how to seal it properly on here. Maybe I'll do a couple more here. This is a two connector that the uh, mail end that I'm supposed to do as well. Do 
it one more time. I think I felt it click, so um, hopefully it's locked in place. We just have to wish for the best while well, retesting those wires later on. But uh, otherwise, uh, I'm gonna say I'm done with this side. Back to this side. So I need two female ends, I mean male ends, do the first one. The orange line. And the yellow brown line. Orange line first. Make sure you crimp it using the correct size tongs. I'll try D this time. Or C first. Nice. Crimp this on. Sorry, I'm doing this slower than expected. As, as I said before, it's my first time. But I just want to make sure my bike works. Because I miss, miss riding a lot. It would be easier if the space is not so limited. But I may just uh, fast forward the video for you guys so you don't have to be bored.
There we go. So the one's crimped. Good. And uh, crimping the last one. Oh. My back is already hurting really bad. the connector everything size C first really limited space I'm going to reinforce it with probably size D. Bear with me. Other one got in two. Oops. I have to insert it, hide the other one. No, as you can see, it's got its old plug over there. Probably best if I just use a new one. Don't want to risk. And those connectors are really cheap, like uh, 15 cents each. So it's better to get it right than saving 15 cents. This time I'm gonna directly just start using D. So I'll crimp it. Tight space, not good. We'll try best. We'll try our best. So D's not even doing anything. Still have to do C first. Work at it right eventually. So I got it seated. I just gotta move to D and crimp it really tight. If that's even doable. D is not working, so maybe I'll try to see again.
think I did it. Yep, pretty good. Whew. Silicon plug. Make sure it's nicely seated. Using the biggest one, size B. And crimp the plug. I think the direction is wrong. Now we got it. Oof. So as you can see, it takes a little time on, in tight spaces, but eventually you'll get it to work and to be able to uh, replace all the broken pins in your Triumph motorcycle. This should apply to a lot of other motorcycles as well. Um, the connector might be different, slightly different, so you need a different crimp, crimping tool. Um, otherwise, the procedure will be highly, highly similar. Uh, if you guys have any questions, Feel free to uh, let me know. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope this video is helpful to you. Um, please uh, subscribe or like. And uh, once again, thank you and uh, take care.